after understanding that 1 plus cot squared theta equals cosec squared theta, we now remember that we had to make cot squared theta, of course, obviously, the subject. So when we do so by taking one the other side, of course, you know. In this case now, our cot squared theta in terms of cosec is going to be cosec squared alpha, because we have alpha minus 1, like that, isn't it? Then minus, from what we know, 1 plus tan squared theta equals sec squared theta. You can even say 1 plus tan squared alpha equals sec squared alpha. Make tan squared alpha theta the, sub, the subject. So we take the other side, you get your sec squared alpha minus 1. That is the identity for tan squared. So we bring it in here. Well, we have a sec squared alpha minus 1. We break down the brackets, all right? And then we end up having something like, well, we have our cosec squared alpha minus 1. Then the minus affects everything in the bracket, all right? So we have a minus sec squared alpha, but now minus times and minus gives us what? A positive. So we shall have plus what? 